If you feel stuck in life, like you've maybe plateaued or you're living the same day over and over again, then this message is specifically for you. I used to be in the same boat. My name is Paul David Thompson, and I went from being stuck in a corporate job, feeling completely unfulfilled, to ultimately building a portfolio of rental properties that now covers my living expenses, and then I've become the CEO of a multi-million dollar consulting firm. And it wasn't always like this for me. I spent years trapped in the same routines, feeling like I was going nowhere. But I managed to break through, and today I'm gonna to share with you the one lesson that helped me achieve my dreams and completely transform my life. You see, we are all creatures of habit, and from a young age, we're placed in a routine preschool, kindergarten, elementary school, high school, college, then straight into a job. And for many people, life becomes a predictable cycle. You wake up, you go to work, you come home, you watch some TV, go to bed, rinse and repeat. This cycle can easily become a trap, making us feel like we're completely stuck in this like hamster wheel, this rat race, running but not actually getting anywhere. When you're stuck in this bubble of routine, it's incredibly difficult to see what lies outside of that bubble. The longer you stay in this cycle, the harder it becomes to imagine that there's anything else. This is the exact situation that I found myself in during my years in corporate America. I had a steady job, I made, I made decent income, but I just felt really unfulfilled. And I knew that I wanted more, that I had more in me, but I just couldn't see a way out. I didn't know what to do differently. It wasn't until I learned how to break out of this routine, what I call a hard reset, that I started to see a real meaningful change in my life and see the possibilities of what I could actually do. Many people find themselves in a very similar situation. We talk with clients that go through this all the time, whether they realize it or not. They're living in the same year over and over again, mistaking motion or activity for progress. It's easy to get caught up in this daily grind of life and lose sight of what is really important to you, what the bigger picture is. But if you take a step back, get some perspective, you might realize that the path you're on isn't leading you to where you truly want to go. The concept of a, uh, this hard reset is incredibly simple, but it's also really powerful. It's about doing something big. It's like making a move. It's like something drastic to kind of snap yourself out of your current bubble and set yourself on a new path, on a new frame. For me, this began after years of feeling stuck in my corporate job. I just realized that if I kept doing the same thing, going down the same path, I would continue to feel the same level of dissatisfaction, unfulfillment year after year. So what did I do? I made this big decision to change my life completely. I began investing in real estate as a way to get out of my day job. And at first, it was just a side hustle, something I did after work and on the weekends. But I got more involved. I started to see the potential for real estate as a way to replace my day job so I could buy my time back. I knew that if I wanted to achieve financial freedom, I had to go all in. I made the decision to leave my corporate job, not go back to the corporate world, and focus on real estate 100% all the way in. And this was my hard reset. By leaving the security of a steady paycheck from a corporation, I forced myself out of a comfort zone and push myself into the great unknown. I basically gave myself no choice but to succeed. I was no longer playing it safe, which I've been doing for 17 years. I was taking a calculated risk, if successful, would change my life forever. And I just decided that success was my only option, but it was my only way forward. And that hard reset doesn't have to be quite as dramatic as quitting your job, but it does need to be something that forces you to think and act in a different way. It could be moving to a new city. It could be starting a new project. It could even be a new relationship or even ending a relationship that's been holding you back. The key is to break free from the patterns that are keeping you stuck. Those things back there that are holding you back and create a new environment where growth is not just a possibility, but is inevitable. One of the most important lessons that I learned during this journey is that comfort is the enemy of growth. It's easy to stay in a job that pays the bills. It's even if it's not fulfilling. It's easy to stay in a routine that's, that feels safe, even if it's not leading you to where you want to be. It's comfortable. But if you want to achieve something greater than what you're doing now, you want to break free from the cycle, you have to be willing to step out of that comfort zone and make a change. When I left my corporate job, I didn't know what the future held. I was unsure. I didn't have a clear path. I didn't have a guarantee that my real estate investments would pay off. But by taking the leap, I opened myself up to the possibility of success. 
I began to see that opportunities were all around me that I never noticed if I'd stayed back in that old job. Stepping out of your comfort zone doesn't just apply to your career, it applies to every aspect of your life. If you've been in a relationship that no longer is serving you, it might be time to move on. And if you are thinking about it, and you're, if this is make sense, it probably doesn't. If you've been living in the same city for years and feel uninspired, kind of beat down by your environment, might be time for a change of scenery. The point is, growth happens when you challenge yourself to do something new and uncomfortable. If you feel stuck right now, you might need to ask yourself, what's keeping you in the current situation? Is it fear? Is it comfort? Is it lack of direction? Whatever it is, recognize that it's holding you from achieving your true potential. The first step to breaking free is acknowledging that you're in a comfortable bubble right now and then making the decision to pop that bubble and see where th everything lands. Another key aspect of the hard reset is changing your environment or your circumstances. For me, that meant leaving behind the corporate world where I had to spend the last 17 years and was very comfortable and then diving into real estate where I was an absolute newbie. I had to put my ego on the shelf and just become a lifelong learner and just like humble, just dive in. But it can also mean changing your physical environment, maybe moving to a new city, uh, traveling to a new place, a new area that inspires you, or even just changing your daily routine can have a profound impact on your mindset, like going to a coffee shop to work instead of always sitting at the office. When I first started investing in real estate, I was living well within my means, but as my business started to grow, I decided to push myself further and make bigger investments. I started making investments in my personal education. I traveled to new cities and attended more conferences. My horizons had broadened because I was going to new places and meeting new people. I have enjoyed really expensive mastermind just to see if I could be or like the people who were in those masterminds and make big moves like they were doing in their life. By surrounding myself with successful people, I began to think and act the way and align myself with people who were successful. Changing the types of people that you're around can be one of the most powerful tools for personal transformation. It's like the old quote, you're the average of the five people that you spend your time around. It emboldens you to change the way you think, the way you act, and ultimately the results that you get are a function of the people you're around. It's not always the people, but it's also the ideas that you're exposed to and the challenges that you face. You have to kind of level yourself up because you're not living up to their standards. If you're feeling stuck, consider how your environment, circumstances, or friend group might be contributing to that feeling. You might need to make a big change. Are you surrounded by people who encourage you to do growth? or by people who are holding you back. If you're not growing, I suspect it's probably they're holding you back. Are you living in a place that motivates you? Are you in and around places that drain your energy? Sometimes that's the change it takes to spark a new level of growth, is to change your environment. Once you've made the decision, you're like, I have decided I'm gonna reset and I'm gonna change my environment, the next step is to build momentum. This is where the magic happens, where the continued magic happens. When I left my corporate job, and began focusing on real estate full time, I started with just a few rental properties. But as I gained experience, I began to see how I could scale my business. I reinvested my profits into even more properties. And over time, my portfolio grew. The momentum I built in real estate didn't just happen overnight. It took some lot of time and effort and work. It, but it was also the result of a consistent effort and a willingness to keep pushing forward, continued growth even when things got tough. This momentum is what eventually allowed me to replace that corporate income and achieve financial freedom. Building momentum in your own life means taking small, consistent actions every day that move you closer to your goals. It means not giving up when things are difficult, and it means constantly looking for ways to improve and grow. This is why being around other people who are in growth mindset really helps. As you build momentum, you find that opportunities start to pop up and you'll be better equipped to see them and take advantage of them when you do see them. It's also important to recognize that momentum doesn't happen by accident. It's something you have to actively create. That means setting goals, tracking your progress, being held accountable by other people, and then celebrating your wins along the way. Every small step forward is an opportunity to celebrate your victory that and then moves you forward and it moves you closer to your ultimate goal. The one lesson you need to become wealthy, the lesson that changed my life is this. It's just the big leap. You have to make this reset. You have to break out of your 
cocoon of comfort. It sounds really kind of simple when you say it like that, but it's incredibly powerful and it's what it takes for anybody who becomes successful. Most people go their entire lives letting those circumstances dictate their path. But if you want to achieve true success, whether that's financial freedom, personal fulfillment, or anything else as you define it, you have to take control of your own destiny. No one else is going to do it for you. There'd be a lot of people who would cheer you on, but if you want you to have real success, you need to take life by the horns and you have to will it into existence by sheer determination and grit. If you don't want it, nobody else does. Don't wait for that perfect moment because it doesn't come. It's not, we're not waiting for opportunities. We're waiting for a decision. Don't wait for someone else to give you permission to pursue your dreams because they're not going to. The only person who can make a change in your life is you. And the first step is making the decision to do it now. Like make this be your wake up call. Allow this be to be your hard stop. I won't let this happen anymore. I will not accept my life unless it's this way. Taking control of your life means being proactive instead of reactive. It means setting your own course, you set your sail, instead of letting life happen to you passively. And it means being willing to make really tough sacrifices in the short term for the sake of long-term success. Give up the little things now to get the big things later. And whether that's investing time in learning a new skill or investing money in a business venture or investing energy in building a new relationship, every decision you make should be aligned. You should always be in alignment with what you want. And let me tell you right now, my friend, you are worth it. If you feel stuck, like you're living in the same day over and over again, remember that you do have the power to change it. You're worth the change. You can break free from the current routine, that little comfort bubble that you live in. You can change your environment. You can build momentum towards your goals. You can find new friends. It's not easy. I mean, to just be honest, it's not easy. It requires personal courage, but the rewards are worth it. I'm living proof that it's possible. I went from being stuck in a corporate job to owning a portfolio of rental properties and now running a multi-million dollar company. But it all started with a single decision that I just wouldn't let my life be that way anymore. The decision to take control of my life and pursue my life according to my terms. And you can do the same thing. Lots of people have done it. A journey to wealth and living a rich, fulfilling life with people that you cherish, that you can't wait to be around, begins with that single step. Your future self will thank you. You, you won't recognize the person in the mirror that is looking back at you in a couple of years time. Remember the path to wealth isn't about making money. The money is just a tool. It's about creating a life that you are excited to live every day. It's about finding purpose, achieving your goals, becoming the resourceful person who can find the money to do whatever you want and making a positive impact on the world around you as you define it. So don't live a, a life based on the parents or society, your friends, live your life. Don't settle for mediocrity. Strive for personal greatness and use the lessons that I've shared with you as a motivation here to create the life that you've always wanted. If you found this message valuable, please consider subscribing to the channel. There's so much more that I want to share and I'm excited to continue this journey along with you. Until the next time, take control of your life. Make it one that is worth living and a good start would be watching this next video I've set up right here so you can learn even more about wealth and money.